it is Tuesday. I believe it's the 10th. Yes, it is the 10th because tomorrow's the 11th and that's when my paintings do. So, in last week's vlog, I was painting a little bit with y'all. And I have the same setup, so it's going to be me. And then you're going to see me painting from another angle at the same time while I talk to y'all. I did work on it a little bit off camera, but I'm going to try to finish it on camera with y'all today. If not 100% done, I want to get it at least like 95% done on camera. And then just do the finishing touches later because it is getting a bit dark and it's kind of gloomy out today, which is a little sad. Let me go ahead and get everything set up and done. Ah, it looks so good, y'all. Okay, I even have some close-up clips of the painting, so I'll show y'all those and then we can get straight into the video for today. Okay, y'all, so I have everything set up and I am going to get started uh, today I kind of just want to balance out the proportions of everything. So last time we worked on this, we added this purple area up here, which really lines up nice with this white outlining. But I just want to continue this down so it's like a full face shape and it comes around and you can just see it more defined. Um, I think I'm going to go in with like a lime green. That sounds really pretty to me. So. I actually just got some new paint from Golden, so let me... Actually, no, it's some Liquitex paint. So let me go ahead and pull those out really quick, and let's get into it. So I got it in two different mediums. I got it in the soft and the heavy body acrylic. I used to really like heavy body acrylics, but I've been kind of leaning towards the soft bodies lately. I never thought I would say that, but... I just really like how they apply and especially with this painting everything's so transparent I think that soft bodies are a lot easier to work with so I'm gonna go ahead and work with this one instead of the heavy body I love my paint palettes but there's just something about using an old dirty container <laughs> that I just love but while I'm prepping this paint if you have not caught up with me in a while and you didn't watch last week's video, I am painting this exact painting for my first art show of the year. And I'm just so grateful to have been invited to a show already. It's literally been not even a full two weeks of January and I'm already submitting something into a show. So I'm just super excited. It's at the Andes Hotel in Hollywood. So if you are in the LA area or just SoCal, Come see it. It's going to be there until I think the end of March. I don't know the exact dates, but I will definitely get back to y'all. There might be an opening day where you can like come see all the different artists and you'll be able to meet me as well. So if I get more details on that, I will definitely let y'all know. But for now, I just have to get this to them by tomorrow. So let me just try to finish this up. I need water for this. Hold on. I get my paint so watery and then I use a thicker one on top of that watery layer but I'm just gonna go in and do you see how transparent that is you can still see all the texture of the blue underneath it but it's still opaque like you can still see the green and I love that and I did mix a little bit of white in here just to lighten up that green a bit. Because even though you're watering it down, it'll still be that same super pigmented green. So I just wanted to let up that color a little bit. I would say for the most part this painting's done, but there's just so many little things I want to work on. But like I was saying last week, it's my first show that is all black creators and... I just want to see everyone else's work. There's nothing that motivates me more than seeing other creatives in their element. It kind of reminds me who I am and really brings everything back home for me. I think it's really important as a creative to stay motivated and sometimes you don't even realize how unmotivated you are. It kind of just hits you one day and you're like, oh, why do I feel this way? And that happens to me a lot, especially last year as the year was wrapping up. I really felt like I kind of lost my direction and my drive. And one thing that always 100% 
gets me back into the mood to create is to go to art shows or to museums and just kind of see other people in their element and not even having to see them, just see their work. Sometimes I wonder what people think when they see my work and then they see me. Like I wonder if my, if my face matches my art. I actually saw a girl on TikTok post a video the other day and it was like, I'll insert a screenshot of it if I can find it, but she like made a montage of artists who look like their art and it was so interesting to see and I was like, wow, I wonder if my art reflects me and like the artist that she chose, it was very obvious like their style looked exactly like them down to a T, but my style obviously is a little abstract. And I don't really look like these paintings, but I wonder if there's something about me that that is reflected in my work. If you do see reflections, I would love to hear about it because I think that is so interesting. I'm also going to add pops of this green just in some random spot just to tie everything together. I'm trying not to let anything drip. I know it's watery. But I just want it to be transparent. I don't want any more drips on the painting. I feel like I have enough. Like you can see here, like from the eyes, it dripped a lot. And then from the mouth. So I'm going to try to avoid drips for the rest of the painting. I'm kind of sitting here reflecting on my 2022. And I'm getting a bit emotional because... At the beginning of the year, I started my tech job. Um, if you don't know more about my journey, I have posted a more in-depth video about it, but just to give you all a quick summary if you don't know, I was working a 9 to 5 up until last March or April, and I worked at a tech job, and I was very grateful for it at the time because Obviously, I needed to be financially stable and I wasn't making enough money from art just yet to be able to pursue it full time. And I just remember being so unfulfilled, but just really hopeful and excited for the future. And I'm just kind of reflecting on that now of how far I've come because I just remember thinking, when will that day come? And it kind of, whenever I thought about it, it seemed so far into the future, like, do you know when you're in high school and you think to yourself, okay, by the time I'm 25, I'm going to have a house and I'm going to have kids and I'm going to be married and it seems so far away. That's how I felt with being a full-time artist about a year ago. It was an idea to me that was just like, it's going to happen. I know it's going to, but it just seemed like I couldn't even fathom it. Like, it just seems so surreal. And the fact that I'm coming into the new year as a full-time artist and I get to participate in this show is just so emotional for me. I really just can't explain how much it means to me. And I'm just so excited to see where this year takes me. I just have a really good feeling, y'all. Like, I have a feeling that this is like my year. Like, this is the year I really blossom as an artist. Oh no, it's dripping! Let me get some paper towel. I'm just gonna blot that all out, actually. I've been doing that a lot with this painting, kind of just like painting like this, like just anywhere with like really translucent paint. And just it adds like a really cool texture. I really like it. Actually, I'm gonna do that all in the space. Like, see this, and then just blot it out, but very precisely. Like, I'm not going to let it touch this green strip. And it just leaves, like, cool textures. Just. Okay, I think one of the last things I want to do is take a really, like, bright pink, similar to this pink here, and I want to just make the flower have, like, a background to it almost. We'll see how big I make it because... It's already really close to the right edge and I just want to make sure it doesn't outbalance this. I might have to add an element here to just make it so that it's even. It really, really bothers me when my paintings aren't balanced and I feel like it's already kind of unbalanced because 
there's so little space here this is like a hand's worth and then there's a lot of space I might add like one more droplet to kind of help with that these are some more Liquitex paints I think I'm gonna go with this one it's a little bit more bright and I feel like everything's kind of dark so this would be really good contrast let me grab another dirty container it is so watery y'all when I tell you watery I really mean it like I mean watery okay let's do this one up here first you all see that so pretty I should do it bigger than that I think it should be I think it should be really dramatic oh god it's dripping Okay, I made it a little bit more opaque. You know, I'm kind of wondering if I should even finish this on camera with y'all because I kind of want to reveal it at the hotel. And it's like it's grand reveal. Let me make this one even more round. Yeah exactly like that but now i feel like i have to color it in can y'all see what the pink did to the flower it really just made it pop more i really like that i'm definitely gonna add it to this teardrop here i think i might just add another teardrop completely to just help balance everything okay so i've added all of the pink and the lime green layering that i wanted to i think it really helped make it pop it wasn't a lot of change to the painting, but I think it really helped to balance it out. So what I'm going to do now is I really want to define the mouth a little bit more. And I'm actually going to do that with a paint pen, so let me go grab one really quick. Because I have the black, but then I also saw this dark purple, and that might help define it without making it so harsh. Because I didn't use a lot of black in this painting, so I don't want to if I don't have to. So I'm going to try this Molotov pen. I just want to define it a tiny bit more. It's not too dark, but it's just dark enough. I hope y'all can see in the camera, but it's just defining these mouth lines. I feel like the mouth needs some highlights to it. Let's see if I have another pen. I think a light pink would be so pretty. I haven't used this one either. Acrylic pens are my favorite thing to use. I'm literally just going to add some highlighting circles to it just like that nothing crazy just some dots here and there is white a little too bold for the lips i feel like it might be i don't think the green would look good i think that's too much i don't want to go dark i want to go lighter so i'm going to take these out gray i'm not even going to consider i think it has to be the light pink not even the, like this the same light pink god this is Literally half of my process is me going like this and staring at my painting. Should I do it in chalk maybe? In pastel? I do have some pastels, but once I use a pastel, that's it. I kind of want to do some pastel markings over here. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I really just pick up whatever the hell I have and I use it until my painting looks done. Zero plan. No idea what's going on. We can define the tip of this teardrop with this pastel here. So now I'm just adding a little bit of green back. But you can still see the pastels underneath, so it's really, really pretty. Let me add some green up here and see what happens. I might do the same thing. Like, literally take the smallest touch of paint on the tips. And then I might do it right here just to bring this edge out. And it's such a light stroke, like I'm barely, I'm barely touching the canvas right now. Okay y'all, so I would say at this point the painting is about 95% done. So I'm going to do the rest of the finishing touches off camera because I really want to do a big reveal with you guys and just show y'all it up on the wall at the hotel the day of the premiere. So I'm going to cut the cameras and then I'll vlog dropping it off tomorrow so y'all can see a little bit of behind the scenes. And then next week, 
I think that I'll just film myself finishing up a commission with y'all because I do have one commission to send out and I'm really excited about that too. So I'll see y'all tomorrow, okay? Hey y'all, let me zoom in so you guys can see me a little bit better. Okay, so today is Wednesday. It's drop-off day. Yesterday, I completely finished the painting, but I really want to show it to y'all, but I really want to keep it a secret for launch. Like, I want everyone to see it for the first time at the hotel, so I'm gonna go drop it off. I did get to varnish it last night, but, you know, usually varnishing, you should let it dry for, like, three days. But I'm really pushing it, and y'all, I just really want this painting there, so I'm just gonna give it as is and be super, super careful with it, but I'm really excited. So I'm on my way there right now, and I'll, I'm gonna um, bring y'all to the hotel with me. Okay, let's go. I really want to see if my camera will stay while I'm driving. That's kind of insane, and it's very distracting, and it may be illegal, but I'm just going to see. Oh my god, I have to get gas. I actually have to go drive back to the house and get the painting. It's too big to carry all this way. Oh my god, y'all, but I'm just... Like I was saying, I am so excited to meet the other artists and they might not be there because I feel like we're just dropping things off. But oh, I just love group shows because I don't meet a lot of artists in general. So to meet black artists is just really empowering and I feel like I have so much to learn from people y'all. So much to learn. Like I would say in this art world I know like 1% of what the hell's going on and how to navigate this space like literally 1% so I'm just ready not even in this show but just for this whole year honestly to soak up as much information as I can I want to learn so much this year let me go get this painting y'all be right back Okay, I'll change in video quality. So sorry, my camera died because I was having way too much fun singing in my car. So the rest of today is going to be on my phone. So hopefully iPhone is good enough and <laughs> it's not blurred. I really want to show you all everything. I honestly might not have too much to show you just because I'm giving the painting straight to the curator. Um... But we will see. I'm here now. Um, and I'm going to go walk up. I'm going to go meet him at the front. Super excited. I have to pee so freaking bad. Y'all have no idea. I was chugging my coffee, vibing, and I need to pee. So I'm going to head inside now. Do you see it back there? Ooh. Okay. Here I go. camera kind of looks a little bit better than my camera camera I don't know but anyways it's been a couple hours I've just been kind of like dwelling in my happiness <laughs> and I dropped off the painting and I met the curator Jay and he was so so nice I mean he was just telling me his plan for putting up the work so the work is actually going to be up seen in just two days so by the time I post this vlog y'all will actually be able to go see it which is great. The actual opening night is going to be during art week which is in the middle of February so that's going to be a little while away a little while away but um, 
the painting's gonna be up. So if y'all are in the LA area or you visit LA from now all the way till I'm pretty sure it's the last day of March, you'll be able to see it. So ah, I'm so happy y'all. I'm just so excited. I went in the bathroom after I gave it to him and I was just taking pictures and I'm just so happy. And I've been sitting in my car just like talking to my friends and Okay, I'm going to go drive home because it is an hour to get all the way back. But I am just having the best day. I'm having a really, really good day. Um, I'm so excited. I don't know if this is the end of my vlog for this week. This vlog is kind of long, so I might wrap it up here. Who knows? Oh, God. Do you hear that? That's LA for you. Hold on. Okay, but like I was saying... I might just wrap up the vlog here. Let's just stop here on Wednesday and then I'll film the rest of the week and the weekend. Sounds good. But I love y'all so much. Y'all have no idea how much I appreciate each and every one of you who watches my videos. Each and every one of you who follows me on Instagram and TikTok and just comments the sweetest things. Y'all really get me through my days. Like, you have no idea. No idea. So, I'm just forever grateful. I would not be here without y'all. Like, without the support I get, I would not be able to do this. Oh, I always get emotional at least once in one of my vlogs. But I'm off to home and I will see y'all in the next video. Okay. Bye, y'all. I love you. <laughs>